What's going on everybody? It's our Mike and you've all seen my LG V20, whether it's been in the white marble by D Brands, or maybe you've even seen it in the black marble by Slick Wraps. Now my question to you is, have you ever seen an LG V20 in blue honeycomb? Let's go on ahead and check out what that looks like. So as you can tell, this is a package from Slick Wraps. Um, this one I did buy on my own. This is my own money that I spent for this skin. Uh, this was not sent to me for review. So on our packaging here, like I said, it shows those Slick Wraps basic um, USPS tracking. That's how Slick Wraps runs their stuff through USPS. Uh, does not say it's a priority, but it's a USPS mail. And we have our pull tab, let's go and pull that off. We'll lay this flat so we don't bend anything up on the inside just in case. And let's uh, check out what we got here. We pull off the rest of this. And we should be good to open. And inside, this is the Honeycomb Editions. So this is something that Slick Wraps offers that I have not seen with the other uh, skin manufacturer being D Brands is the next big one. So there's our Slick Wraps skin and there's something else here. Our shipping information for returning if I wanted to return it. And that is it. But besides that, it's nice good hard cardboard, which I do like. A hard packaging so that way your skin does not get bent up. There's our slick wraps package installation. What's inside? Our 360 degree slick wrap. Let me see if we can get some focus on that. Our 360 degree slick wrap instructions, microfiber, and an HD screen protector, which might be useful. We'll see. I have not done a film screen protector in a long time. Uh, on my V20, actually, I have not used any screen protector. I know on the V10, I had a tempered glass. Uh, the V20, I have looked at some screen protectors for it, but uh, I have not pulled the trigger on one, because I'm thinking about going back to not using a bumper at all, and just putting a screen protector on it and seeing how it holds up with the skin. So, anyway, crack on in. And here we have our instructions on everything important before continuing visits slick wrap slash install so we have our slick wraps sticker a nice black microfiber and our skin I did not order a uh, screen protector so I don't think there is one in here that could be wrong look on the back side no no screen protector but there is our um, that's actually kind of cool looking. This is a blue honeycomb skin, as you can see. So, let me, uh, get this in some light and let's check that out. Alright, so in some natural lighting, here's what you're looking at for your skin. So you can see, it's actually textured. I can feel the honeycomb texture to it, which is nice. <laughs> Give you a little more grip. It is a nice look. I am going to keep... Um, mine being a nice matte black camera cut out. I'm not going to use the sensor cover, sticker cover. I might change the buttons and uh, we might use, well, this includes the back flaps. I do not think there's any fronts. I thought there were, but uh, apparently not. So now I checked over the packaging again. There is no front skin to cover the front section, which is kind of a bummer because my uh, matte black front section here in the top spot is about done in this corner. I've tried babying it and getting it to restick, but I might just have to order a new front skin to cover up the titanium. So uh, I will probably keep all this black. I'm not going to change this whole backside out to full blue. It will just be the center piece first, and we'll see how that looks. So. I'm going to go on ahead and do that, and we will come right back to this. Alright, so I'm in the midst of peeling off my um, button covers 
on the slick wrap skin from the black marble. And one thing I've noticed, the slick wraps uh, skins, their adhesive kind of does leave some of a residue here, as you can see on my buttons. And I'm kind of wondering how the back, this backing is going to look when I get to doing that. So, uh, yeah, we will see. I'll get all that cleaned off and um, I'll start working on pulling this buttons cover off and we will pull this black marble off and see how this blue looks. But uh, yeah, that's where I must give the nod to the adhesive that they use on dbrand skins because they do not leave any residue like that. I've never had that happen before. All right, so I only encountered residue in a few places here in the corner where I started originally peeling. And then at the end, this is the last section I peeled off. So not too bad. You can see a little bit of kind of a residue on here. I'm going to clean this back plate off before I go on ahead and install the new honeycomb. All right, so we have our blue honeycomb skin on, and I have had one defect issue with it. You can start to see that I have a few bubbles in mine, and that might be due to I was using lotion to help keep my hands from looking so dry on this video while I was applying the skin, and that caused a couple of bubbles. So I actually had to peel this back and reheat everything and try to start fresh. But uh, overall, the skin, the texture of this feels amazing, actually. It feels pretty good. And uh, yeah, we are in outside in some sunlight. That way you guys can get a good visual of this. But yeah, depending on your light and your angle, you'll see all those reflections from the honeycomb pattern that they used, that they did to this. And I think this actually looks pretty good for being a blue and a black. But if you guys have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comment section down below. This is our mic. This skin is from Slick Wraps. Uh, I did get it on sale for about 40% off. So it was under 20 bucks. Leave me a comment down below. Tell me what you think of this. And I uh, hope to see you all in the next video. Have a good one.